Hi all. In the previous video, we had learnt about roles management and about creating different roles in adaptive. Today, we'll be implementing policies in adaptive and seeing what are these policies. Policies are basically used to control different aspects of the uh, user experience in adaptive. They are used to set up different applications that can be accessed by user or set the multi-factor configuration or for the devices, enrollment and many other things. So now let us see about these policies. In order to see these policies, first click on the nine dots, go to the admin portal and under the admin portal, in the left hand side pane from, um, from under the core services, go to policies. Here we can see a default policy has already been, uh, already exists. Now let us explore this default policy. Click on this default policy and we can see the name of the default policy and its description. We can also see the different policy settings as we can set the policy to active or to verify compliance on Android or iOS devices. We can also assign policy to all the users and devices or to specific roles that we have that have been created or to different sets that is the specific collection of users that we want users or devices that we want this policy to be applied at then we can set different aspects of this policy through application policies endpoint policies authentication policies user security policies third party integration etc and we can set a uh, the various options available under them and modify our policy accordingly. Through the summary tab, we can see what all the uh, options have been set in this policy, what all features have been set in this policy and save the policy accordingly. Policies are basically, a, a policies can be set in a hierarchical uh, manner. That is a base policy can be made where all the users uh, for which it will be applicable for all the users and other policies can be set for a smaller set of users and in order to create a new policy we have to click on add policy set and give all the descriptions about the policy this was all about the default policy in the next video we'll be learning how to create a new policy and other features about it thank you